morning all today we are going to discuss about uh, designing of an a stable multi vibrator circuit already you know that a stable multi vibrator this is a square wave oscillator in this circuit both output states are semi stable states continuously the circuit itself changes one state to another states now coming to the design problem we given some specifications based on the specifications we have to calculate resistor values resistor rc value r1 r2 c1 and c2 values these are the given specifications vcc is equal to 10 volts and ic saturation is equal to 1 milliampere current and frequency of oscillation is equal to 1 kilohertz and duty cycle duty cycle of the square wave is first case 50% second case 75% third case 15% that is the problem these are the specifications calculate the resistor and capacitor values for case 1 50% case 2 75% case 3 15% and come to the first one case 1 duty cycle d is equal to 50% already we know that duty cycle is equal to T on by T on plus T off. That is equal to T on by total tanker. It is a some square wave. It is a T on T off. This is total time period capital T. So duty cycle fifty percent means that is equal to symmetrical square root duty cycle 50% that is equal to T on is equal to T off that means symmetrical square root symmetrical square root for symmetrical square wave R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R, C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C. And come to the first calculate RC. Consider this configuration VCC RC. Suppose T2 on, here it is. PCE saturation. We simply apply KVL to the output loop. Then RC is equal to VCC minus VCE saturation by IC saturation. I2. 10 minus 0.3 by IC2. IC saturation 1 milliamp. That is equal to 9.7 kilo ohm. So RC one value is equal to 9.7 kilo ohms. Now coming to the frequency of oscillations. Given frequency of oscillations that is equal to 1 kilo H from the time period is equal to 1 by frequency of oscillation is equal to 1 millisecond. In a stable in a stable multi we know that capital time period is equal to 1.38 into hours. Okay, here we assume one value. Let us assume C is equal to 0 0.01 microfarad. From that calculate R value. R is equal to capital T by 1.38 into C. So 1 millisecond by 1.38 into 0 0.01 micro. So then R is equal to for this value. 72.46 kilo 
72.46 kilo. This is the first case. In first case, symmetrical square wave. C1 is equal to C2. Here we can make Case 1, D1 is equal to 50%. RC is equal to 9.7K then R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R that is equal to 72.46K and C is equal to 0 0.01 micron that is the first case first of all you know the duty cycle definition duty cycle D is equal to T on by total time period Again, first case is 50% duty cycle, that is T on is equal to T off. Then, first we calculate the RC collector resistor, that is equal to apply KVL to the output loop VCC minus VCC by ICC resistor, that is equal to 9.7 kilo ohms. Then, already we know the time period is given, F 1 kilo F, time period 1 millisecond. In a stable multivibrator, already we derived resistor. If R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R, C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C, then total time period 1.38 hours. Let us assume C value, then find out R value. That is the process. Second one is duty cycle D is equal to 75 percent. That means T on period greater than T off period. So coming to the waveforms, so this is the total time period is 1 millisecond, 1 millisecond, yet yeah, this one is 0 0.75 milli and this one 0 0.25 milli. So Tn is equal to 0 0.75 millisecond. And T of is equal to 0 0.25 millisecond. Then coming to the design, first one RC, same as previous, RC is equal to VCC minus VC sat by IC sat, M minus 0.3 by 1 milli. That is equal to 9.7 kilo ohms. Then coming to the resistor values. The given duty cycle is seventy-five percent unsymmetrical square wave. Unsymmetrical square wave. Unsymmetrical square wave means at least one parameter not same, right? R1 not equal to R2. You may choose C1 is equal to C2. R1 not equal to R2. C1 is equal to C2. Then for each time duration, I am going to be some values. Suppose this is TR, TR. You know that Tn is equal to 0 0.69, suppose R1, C1. Similarly, T of is equal to 0 0.69 R2, C2. Let us assume C 0 0.01 0 .01 microfarad C1, then Tn is equal to 0 0.69 R1 C1, and from that R1 is equal to Tn by 0 0.69 into C1. 0 0.75 milli 0 0.69 into 0 0.01 micro 
that is equal to R1 is equal to 6 108.6 kilo that is R1 similarly similarly T of is equal to 0 0.69 R2 C2 then from that R2 is equal to here again C1 we are assuming C1 is equal to C2 0 0.019 R2 is equal to T of by 0 0.69 into C2 T of only 25 percent 0 0.25 milli by 0 0.69 into 0 0.01 micro so that is equal to r2 is equal to 36.2 36.2 A is equal to 75 percent, RC is equal to 9.7K, C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C0.01 micro, R1 is equal to 108.6K and R2 is equal to 36.23K. This is the second case. And coming to the last case, 15 percent, third case, third case, duty cycle is equal to 15 percent. So, D is equal to T on by T on plus T off. That is equal to 15 percent on 85 percent off. T is equal to 1 millisecond. 0 0.15 milli. 0 0.85 milli. So T on is equal to 0 0.15 milli. T off is equal to 0 0.85 milli. So unsymmetrical square wave. Unsymmetrical square wave. We are assuming that R1 unsymmetrical R1 not equal to R2, but we are consider C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C. First resistor RC same as previous. RC is equal to 9.7 kilo ohms. And coming to the R1 R2 values. <coughs> T on is equal to 0 0.69 R1 C1 from that C1 is equal to 0 0.01 microfarad then R1 is equal to T on by 0 0.69 into 0 0.01 micro that is equal to 0 0.15 by 0 0.69 into 0 0.01 that value is equal to 21.73 kilo ohms R1 similarly R2 then Tf is equal to 0 0.69 R2 C2 again C2 0 0.01 microfarad Tf is equal to 0 0.85 milliseconds then from that R2 is equal to 
T of by 0 0.69 into C. So 0 0.85 will be 0 0.69 into 0 0.01 micron. So last one is equal to 123.1. 123. So this is the procedure to calculate resistor values. Designing is nothing but find the resistor and capacitor values in the circuit. Once again here, these are the given specifications. VCC 10 volts, IC saturation 1 milliamperes, frequency of oscillation is equal to 1 kilohertz and design a stable multivibrator for the three cases. Duty cycle 50%, duty cycle 75%, duty cycle 15%. Okay. Then first one is, first of all, what is mean by duty cycle? From the duty cycle, we have to decide whether the oscillator is a square wave oscillator or unsymmetrical square wave oscillator. Symmetrical or unsymmetrical. If it is a 50%, that is a symmetrical square wave. Or less than or greater than 50%, that is unsymmetrical square wave. Okay, coming to the last case here. Here it is a unsymmetrical square wave, 15%. T on is equal to 0 0.15 milliseconds and T of is equal to 0 0.85 milliseconds. Then RC value, RC value is common for three cases. Simply apply K value to the output loop VCC minus VC saturation by IC saturation. Neglect with current almost IC saturation. Why? Because T to on most of the current flows in this direction only. Then simply that is 9.7 kilo ohms. Depending upon the duty cycle values, if it is a 50% duty cycle, use capital T time period already we derived in last lecture. Symmetrical square wave T is equal to 1.38 RC. Based on that, we have to calculate the let us assume C value and find resistor value. If it is unsymmetrical square wave, calculate separately T on and T of time period. Based on that, again assume one capacitor value. Find on R1 or R2. That is the design procedure. Thank you.